Hi everyone, Judy here. Welcome to our Bisaya Word of the Week series. Today we are going to discuss about vocabularies and common phrases in the classroom. If you happen to be your first time here, I am teaching conversational Cebuano, so I'm going to help you guys um, speak Cebuano like a local. Now, um, let's start with the vocabulary. So we have here teacher, maestra, maestra. Our accent, our tone, our accent, just like in any other languages like Korean or Japanese, they also have certain way of pronouncing, certain accent of pronouncing English terms. So the same thing with Bisaya. We also have this certain way of pronouncing English terms or English words. Sometimes it becomes a, um, a joke to some. Um, the people from the northern part of the Philippines, they find it funny when Bisaya, when some of the Bisaya folks um, speak English because of our accent. So they find that funny actually. I mean, even among ourselves, even among Bisaya people, sometimes we laugh with ourselves because we pronounce certain English terms like to Bisaya, okay? But we always try to um, speak properly, the proper way of pronouncing it. But it's just that sometimes you cannot, um, you know, the old habits, uh, you cannot just change it immediately it's, it's just it is always there in our system so uh, you have to take note that sometimes the e the, le, the okay the e we pronounce it as um, hard e okay and then sometimes um, letter f we pronounce it as letter p sometimes we pro the letter v we pronounce it as letter b so i have a video about our alphabet um, you might want to check that out as well okay so no let's go back to our vocabulary all right so maestra uh, usually we say maestra then teacher 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 and then student estudiante estudiante classmate classmate okay meet okay classmate Notebook, uh, notebook, okay, and then book is libro, libro, blackboard is blackboard, okay, uh, actually it's not, it should be B-L-A-K and B-O-R-D, not black, not English, not the same as English, okay, I'm gonna change uh, the PDF notes on this one, guys, next we have chair or seat, lingkuranan, lingkuranan, Next is table or desk, la mesa. Okay, this is a Spanish word. And then chalk, chalk, chalk. Okay. Eraser, eraser, eraser. Naka eraser. <laughs> Do you have eraser? Stapler, stapler, stapler. Folder, folder, folder. Pencil, lapis. Ball pen, ball pin. Uniform, uniform, I sorry, oh yeah, uniform or uniforme, uniforme, sometimes, okay, say it, uniforme, and then wall, bong bong, color, color, paper, papel, papel, book, case, butanganan og libro, Okay, when you say butanganan, it is a an organizer or a place, a, a specific place where you put the um, certain things. Okay, butanganan. Pencil case, butanganan og lapis. Crayons, crayola. Okay, sharpener, tahal, tahal. Scissors, gunting. Okay, not gun, not gunting. Okay, it should be gunting, gunting. Okay, now let's proceed to our phrases. Okay, let's start with basic greetings. Okay, we have good morning, maayong buntag. And 
And then, good afternoon is maayong hapon. Okay, teacher is teacher. How are you kids? Kumusta mga bata? How are you is kumusta? And then, kids is plural. You must put mga. So, that's why the bata here is uh, kid or a child. Okay? Mga bata is kids. Next, I am your... And then, you put your subject. Uh, then, teacher. Okay, I am your, for example, Filipino teacher. I am your Filipino teacher. Ako ang inyong Filipino teacher. Ako ang inyong Filipino teacher. Okay. So, I is ako. Your. Um, you must check my personal pronouns uh, video, guys, in order to understand more of this. So, in English, usually, in English, you use you or your, but in Bisaya, there are certain words for um, a specific uh, way of saying the personal pronoun. So, okay, so your is inyong, okay, inyong. Inyong is like uh, you possess, okay, you possess something. So, inyong, but you are referring to the whole class on this one, okay? So, I will be your... Filipino teacher. I am your Filipino teacher. So, ako ang inyong Filipino teacher. Okay. Now, next. It's so hot today or it's so humid today. So, it's it's so hot. It means um, init kaayo. Okay. Init kaayo. Um, the so here is kaayo. Kaayo means so or very. Okay. Hot is init. And then, alimuot is humid. Okay, humid is alimuot. Today is karon. What a nice day. Kanindot sa adlaw. Okay. Uh, nice, beautiful. Um, what else? Nice, beautiful. It means kanindot. Okay, from the root word nindot. Nindot means beautiful or nice. Okay. Day is adlaw. Okay. Okay, let's go to command phrases. Listen. Paminaw. Paminaw. Let us listen. Or you say, uh, let's listen. Maminaw ta. The us here is ta. Ta is actually a shortcut of kita, which means us or we. And then listen is, um, the root word of listen in Bisaya is minaw. Okay, so this is going to be in the future tense. That's why you put ma here. Ma minaw. Okay, ma minaw ta. You're, you're, let's listen, okay? The next, um, get your Filipino book or English book or whatever subject that is. So you say, kuha a ang inyong Filipino nga libro. There should be nga here, guys, before the libro. Okay, I just forgot about this. So, kuha'a, from the get um, is kuha'a, uh, coming from the root word kuha, kuha is get. And then, you put a here at the end, because you want, uh, it's it's an action, command action word, okay, kuha'a, I mean, get it, okay, get it, kuha'a. So, kuha ang inyong libro, so your here is your, uh, inyong. So, the inyo here, guys, you have to take note. Okay, it's something that you possess, okay? Then, book is libro. Next, eyes on the blackboard. Mata sa blackboard. Eyes means mata. Okay? On is sa. Remember, guys, sa is the equivalent of that in English is on, at, in, for, uh, what else? Um, sometimes with, okay? Okay? Uh, and then blackboard is blackboard. Okay, next. Um, lingkod, sit. Lingkod, sit. Please sit down. Lingkod, palihog. Okay, please is palihog. And then sit down is also lingkod. Okay. You can sit now. Okay, you're referring to the whole class. Pwede na mo mo lingkod. Okay, so... Uh, the you here is mo, okay? Be you don't use pwede na inyong mulingkod because you're not 
possessing something you use more because you are talking directly to the group of uh, people in this case class your class so use more okay not in your pwede pwede na pwede na means uh, pwede is can okay pwede na means you can pwede na okay it's like pwede na yeah you sh you can already the na here is actually uh, now or already okay and then sit is uh Mo lingkod from the root word lingkod, okay. You use mo here because you still about to. It's still in the future, okay. Mo lingkod, okay. Again, I have um, tenses of verb or verb tenses uh, video just a few weeks ago, so you better check on that as well. Okay, I think that was last week. Uh, that was a video that I posted last week. You better check on that as well, okay. All right, next, um, look here, lingi or tanau dere. Look is lingi or tanau, and then here is dere, dere. Look here, tanau dere or lingi dere. Next, we have right now, pagsulat na, okay? Pagsulat na, right means from the root word sulat, okay? Or suwat. Sulat or suwat is the, are just the same. Okay, right. Uh, and then, usually, if, if it's a command word, um, pag, using pag is also common. Okay, pag sulat na, it's a command um, prefix, pag. Now is, now means na, okay? The na, it means now or already. Next, erase it, erase it. Papa a. Na. Oh, erase is papa, okay, from the root word papa, and then you put a here, the same from my explanation bef um, in the previous slides. So the a here is like you're gonna do an action thing, okay? It's erase it, papa a. You must put a to the verb. I mean, was it, is it a verb or a noun? <laughs> okay. It. Na, na. The na here implies you have to do it in now. Okay? Erase it. Papa ana. Alright. Okay. Um, next, we have quiet. Pag hilom. If you want the shortcut, you just say hilom. Hilom. Quiet. Hilom. Next, um, stop talking. Hunung og tabi hunong og tabi stop talking hunong from uh, stop stop is hunong and then talking is tabi finish everything tiwasa okay tiwasa tanan finish everything tiwasa tanan finish is uh, the root word is tiwas okay tiwas then, then we say tiwasa you have to do it you have to to finish it okay tiwasa Tanan is everything. Don't forget. Ayaw kalimot. Okay, don't is ayaw. And then forget from the root word limot. Okay, kalimot. Don't forget. Don't uh, ayaw kalimot. Let us start. Magsugod na ta. So the us here is ta from the root word kita, which means us or we. And then start um, from the root word so good, okay? And then you put mag because you're gonna, this is in future tense. Mag so good. Okay, let us start. Mag so good na ta. Next, are you all ready? Ready na mo. Ready na mo. Okay, ready. Look at the spelling, guys, okay? So this is, uh, the way we pronounce is like ready, ready. Ready na? Ready? <laughs> na is like already or now. And then mo is referring to the whole class. Okay, next. Put your things away. Put your things away. So, put away is hipusa. Okay? From the root word hipus. Okay? Putting things away. Uh, okay, you added a, letter a again at the end of the, the verb. Okay, the verb. 
And then uh, your is inyong. Okay, you use inyong if you possess something. Okay, things. Uh, this is in plural form. You have to put. You have to put mga. Okay, mga butang. Things is butang. Na here na implies here that you have to do it immediately. Okay. Okay, next. Who is not here today or who isn't here today? Kinsay wala diri karun. Who is kinsa? And then uh, isn't is or not wala. Here is diri. Today is karun. Who isn't here today? Kinsay wala diri karun. Okay. Uh, so, we're talking, this lies about attendance. Okay, next we have, what's wrong with, uh, for example, Judy? What's wrong with Judy? What is unsa? And then wrong. Usually, if you're going to ask if what's wrong with somebody, you usually, we usually use problema. Okay, problema. So, another term for wrong in Bisaya is sayup, but uh, the sayup is not applicable in this sentence. Okay, we, uh, we use a problema because you want to know what is happening to a specific person. So, you use problema. Okay, and then ni is, uh, you put ni because you're going to put a name of, of, of a certain person. So, you put ni. It's a subject marker. Okay, I also have a lesson about subject marker video. So, you better check on that as well. <laughs> Next, um, do you know why? And then, for example, Judy. Do you know why Judy is absent? Okay. Uh, no here is kabalo. Okay. No is kabalo. And then mo, the mo here, is, uh, why is ngano? Okay. There is an ng after ngano. Ngano is actually a, uh, a shortcut. Okay. It should be ngano nga. But it's too, um, for us, it's already long. So we combined ng to ngano okay nganong okay nganong is y in english and then the u he is refer is mo okay because you're referring to the whole student you use mo and then again there is a subject um marker here c because there is a name after that uh, what happened unsay nahitabo what is unsa and then happened is nahitabo. Okay, nahitabo. From the root word hitabo. Okay, nahitabo is happened. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, raka. Okay, um, the you here means ka. Okay, and then the ra is added here to for an for emphasis. Okay, like are you okay? Okay, raka. Okay, and then when you say, yeah, I'm okay, you say, okay, ra, okay, ra, okay, ra. So you say, okay, ra. Okay, next, what happened to you? Na unsa ka? Okay. What is na unsa? And then what happened? Okay, what happened is actually na unsa. Okay. Um, ka is you here. Okay, next, we have um, right or correct. You say, sakto, sakto. If it's wrong, you say sayup. Okay, sayup. So the wrong here, sayup, it means uh, mistake. Okay, mistake, wrong or mistake, it means sayup. Next, we have go to page, add to sa page. So go is add to. To is sa. And then um, page, look at the page. Okay, the page. Page. Something is page, okay? Go to page like that. And then follow me, okay? Follow me, it means repeat after me. What I mean about follow me here is to repeat after me. So follow me is sunda ko. Sunda ko. So follow is sunda and then um, the ko here is um, me. Okay? Um, if you say repeat after... Uh, Okay, if you say follow me, like you want the person to follow you along, okay, you use sunud nako. It means you have to follow me where I am going. Sunud nako. 
sunod is follow nako is um yeah you're still referring to yourself now uh all right go uh let's go to like this like this not like that ingon ani ha dili ingon ana okay like this not like that ingon ani ha dili ingon ana okay like this is um ingon ani okay ingon ani ani is this it's another way of saying this ani and then um ingon is act actually ingon there are two meanings okay but in this case ingon ani is like this okay ingon when you say ingon another meaning of ingon in bisaya is um she said or he said ingon okay he said or she said ingon ni okay somebody but when you say ingon ani you're showing the person on how to do it okay not not means dili not like that like that ingon ana okay the ingon here is like like okay then that there is ana okay next we have do you understand or do you understand class so the ka here it is do you understand if you you use ka here if you are talking to directly to a to an individ, individual person okay understand is from the root word sabot okay sabot do you understand means nakasabot ka nakasabot ka do you understand nakasabot ka and then do you understand class nakasabot mo class nakasabot mo class so um, if you're talking to the group as a whole, you said you use mo, okay? Next, stand up, barog. Stand up, barog. Come to the front. Come to the front is anhi sa atubangan. Come, anhi. Okay? Sometimes ari, okay? Sometimes ari. Instead of anhi, you say ari. Tu is sa. Front is atubangan. Front is atubangan. Okay. Um, another during lessons phrases. We have any questions? Na ay pangutana. Okay. Questions is uh, pangutana. Actually, any question. If you say questions already plural, there should be mga here. Na ay mga pangutana. Okay. You have to correct on that one guys okay so naa means have have any questions so any questions have so we use naa okay next we have raise your hand if you don't understand isaka ang inyong kamot kung wala mo kasabot so this is quite long let's break this down raise it means isaka your is inyong Hand is kamot. If is kung. You is mo. Don't is wala. Understand. Kasabot. Okay. Raise your hand if you don't understand. Isaka ang inyong mga kamot. Or inyong kamot, sorry. Kung wala mo kasabot. Okay. Raise your hand if you don't understand. Next. That's okay. Okay, Rana. Okay. That is... um. Na, okay, it's a shortcut of kana. That means that. And then, okay, okay, ra. Okay, the ra here is just an emphasis. Okay, next, leaving the room phrases. Right, so that's all for today. Maura ni sa karon. That's all is maura. Okay, ni, the ni here is added uh, for. For me, it's an emphasis that, that that is all for today. Like, this is all for today. Okay, that's all for today or this is all for today. Okay. And then, the sa here is for today is karon. Okay, now, now, let's go home. Let's go home. Uh, manguli na ta. When you say manguli, okay, when you say manguli, it means go home. Okay. From the root word uli. 
when you, uli, gani, when you say uli, it means you're gonna go home, going home. Mang uli is in the future tense, okay? The na here is now, is an in, it implies that now. Ta here is us, okay? What's wrong with my hand? Ta here is us or we. Mang uli na ta, let's go home. Next, see you tomorrow. Magkita ta ugma, okay? See you, see is magkit from the root word kita, okay? Magkita is in a future tense. So, see you tomorrow. The you here is ta. Um, you are actually talking to yourself and the group, okay? Kita, from the root word kita, we, okay? Ugma is tomorrow. Next, um, be careful. Pag amping, pag amping, okay? It's, it, from the there is a pag here that means it's a command word so you better be careful okay pag amping next we have no class tomorrow walay classy ugma no means wala class or is classy and then tomorrow is ugma next see you on monday magkita ta sa lunes see is kit from the root word kita or kita. Magkita, this is in future tense. That's why you have to put mag. And then you is ta, is a shortcut of kita. That means us or we. And then on is sa. Monday is lunes. I, host, I also have another video about days of the week. You better check on that as well. Alright, so next. Oh yeah, that's all. Okay, that's all for today, guys. <laughs> Mora ni karon. Mora ni sa karon. Anyway. So, thank you so much for being with me today. Do check out my playlist. You better, uh, I have a lot of, of Bisaya lessons there already. If you haven't been to my website, www.c111.com, I, I recommend you guys to go there. There are more uh, lear free learning materials out uh, in that website. If you are new to the c111.com, I find it easy to log in using my Google account, okay? All right, so in the coming two weeks, again, guys, I won't be um, sharing new lesson because I have to update <laughs> the Cebuano101.com. I'm, I'm really sorry I couldn't do this every week uh, for now because I'm, I am very tight with my schedule. But after two weeks, I will be back for another new lessons, okay? I will be talking about uh, verbs, okay? It's very useful to learn the verbs. So I'm going to make a list and we'll do... Um, Practice using um, sample sentences. Okay, that's gonna be after two weeks. Okay. All right, that's all for today, guys. I wanna thank you for your time for today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. That really helps me um, with my YouTube channel. See you after two weeks. Okay, bye bye for now, guys. <laughs>